religious abuse or spiritual abuse uh, is sometimes difficult to identify. I think the reason for that is that initially it will feel like love and care. There will be people who will be pressing into your life, people who want to know what's going on deeply, people who will be willing to offer you advice and counsel. If it is indeed a religiously abusive system, there will come a time when something in you will not feel right. There will be some warning signs, some indicators. For example, when your voice is constantly minimized or dismissed. When any idea or suggestion that you bring up, you are redirected saying, no, this is the way it should be. Those are some beginning indicators. Stephen Arterburn in his book, Toxic Faith, has a list of 15 or 20 very specific examples that you could look at that would help you have an idea if the system that you're in, the church that you're in, may have tendencies toward religious or spiritual abuse. It's critical that you find out if that's where you are because it's not a safe place. It's not a good place for you to be.